Elodie Zone has finally given us an update on how her life is going. Remember the update she gave us last was that she had been kicked out of her friend's place by her friend and that they had gotten into some sort of altercation and it had gotten physical. Remember she had told us about how much the experience had saddened her and this is actually the video of her telling about this incident. Morning everyone. I had an okay night last night after all the drama. Please, by the way, ignore my hair. I can't find any hair products in this mess. You know what? Now, she has given us an update, as I have said, and things are looking good for her. In her latest update, she said that she got to have lunch with a family member for the first time in a long time like they she had not interacted or rather she hasn't been interacting with her family members for a long time but she got to have some lunch with her aunt so she lunch with her aunt and then she has been able to get her dog back as well and she also said that the progress has been good even though she hasn't been updating us and that she's gotten some new work opportunities here and there She's still doing some house hunting and why am I telling you about this when she can tell it to you herself? It's been like two weeks since I last posted and I wanted to make sure that by the time I come back, I'm coming back with something solid. So there is progress, y'all. I'm going to talk about it in a minute. But anyway, my auntie and I went to Muthaga Country Club to have some sushi and a fire cocktail. Ask them next time you're there for the peach and I don't know, something, soda. Honestly, it just tastes like mango juice, pick and peel. But here's the update. I am here at Windsor Country Club. This is the first time I'm actually talking to any of my family members in months. And we just had a really nice sushi lunch, which is amazing. Sushi is my favorite meal with a really nice peach and Sprite cocktail. Yeah, I've not really posted an update in a while, but a lot of progress has been made. I've been able to get my dog back. A couple new work opportunities have come through. So a little bit of money is starting to flow. Um, still house hunting. I found a dope spot. Just waiting till I get something solid so I can pay at least in advance. This is a little bit of progress to be made. So I'm excited for you guys to continue following me on my journey as I heal with things. And I'm really liking being vulnerable because I think that's what the world needs, right? So this lip gloss is fantastic. So Thank please, you. please, uh, comment down below. If everything goes well, she's going to buy me stock of this for the year. Uh, Fair or, deal. Or just give you that one. Give me this one. Yeah. I'll take it. Well, I, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> The conversation we had was super painful. I cried a lot, um, but I'm glad that I made progress. So fast forward to the next morning. So this is me on the road at like six in the morning trying to find my nail lady, Kate. I'm about to do a shoot with iPhone store Kenya. And I wanted to make sure that my nails match the brand logo for marketing. So as my nails were getting done, I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers. Y'all know I'm all about van life. This is how they turned out. I think they match the logo perfectly. And of course, to go with it, the outfit. The outfit must match. And all right. So she, as you've heard, she's also mentioned that she's liking being vulnerable because she believes that is what the world needs. And I just want to ask you, how many times do you allow yourself to be vulnerable? Because the thing we, the thing we're seeing Elodie doing is actually allowing herself to be vulnerable. And is this really a good thing? And you know, like, do you agree with Elodie? Do you feel like? being vulnerable is what exactly the world needs speaking about elodie after she told us that she had been kicked out from her friend's place she also went ahead and posted another video and said that she was still going to deal with it figure out her own way because she's an adult and that's what adults need to do so at the beginning of the year i posted my reality on tiktok and that was great it got a lot of support I talked about losing my family, parting ways with my friends because I wasn't in agreement with their ways, dealing with a breakup due to intimacy issues and losing my job. One of the things that I had to do was move out of my apartment because of everything going on. And so some of my things I was able to leave with different people. Most of my prized possessions, like my books, my TV, things that are very valuable and sentimental to me, I left with a specific individual. 
it is 9 30 at night he came home drunk and got physically abusive kicked my ass and threw me out she also followed that the next days with sharing a couple of things about herself and here are some things that i found really interesting that she shared one of the things she shared was that she doesn't care about owning land owning business or having a legacy all she wants is to have a little house by the beach a van and a dog and as i was reading this i realized that damn i mean her life aspirations are so different from um, the aspirations that most of us have because some of us want so much to have property and businesses and legacy and she has just said that yeah you know what i don't want all that all that all that i just want to have peace with my dog with my van by the beach i mean that sounds like a dream if you ask me i mean that sounds like the promised land maybe i should also consider my aspirations anyway just kidding she also went ahead and shared that she is spiritually gifted and said that she has been seeing and meeting entities that took care of her by entities i don't know what she meant but yeah that is what she said she also went ahead and revealed that she feels people's emotions even when she doesn't know them like she can meet you yes you who is listening to me right now she can meet you and know exactly what your emotions are whether you're happy whether you're sad whether you're disappointed even if she doesn't know you she also revealed that she had aspirations of being a, a vet however she wasn't really good in sciences and most of the time she has credited this to her adhd condition and she said that she discovered that she had adhd last year in 2023 and that made her understood why she had not been doing well in school even though she had attended top schools she also went ahead and said that she doesn't want to be alive and the only thing that was keeping her alive at that time was her dog maxi for she did not want him to face the world without her however i hope she has changed her mind about that i do believe that life is a beautiful thing and it's a gift that all of us have been given i feel she's at a good place and um i can't really wait to see what she does next i have a new girl Rail wangari always keep it here on bnn where we the bees like to keep it buzzing